Ready to have fun, gang? The 2023-24 NBA season has kicked off this week, and as I'm sure everyone has seen, a big thing that 2K loves to do is they love to say, hey guys, look, we use 2K Sim to tell you what's going to happen this season, but they only really do one season. So I decided let's explode this, right? I was doing this on my own because I have way too much free time on my hands apparently, but I decided to Sim 100 saves of the 2023-24 NBA season, starting with the day one roster. Now, this is before some of the injuries and some of the holdouts and some of the suspensions have gone through. So this is like your team's perfect scenario for starting a season. That means like James Harden's here. Who no. needs James Harden? That means John Morant is not suspended for 25 games. That ain't no problem. That means no one has gotten injured. We don't have any of those problems, right? This is, we are starting from scratch. Now injuries can't happen, they will happen, but we are starting from the best possible baseline that you could expect as an NBA fan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sim through a hundred times. I'm gonna jump in a couple of times at some certain milestones just to give you little updates and such, but we are going to see what happens when you sim the current NBA season a hundred times. See who comes out on top, see who's going to win the MVP, see who's going to win the most championships, see who's going to win the most clutch player of the year awards, all that stuff. We're going to look into it. We're going to see how it goes. So I hope you all enjoy. Let's get to simming. Oh my, I feel fluttery inside. All right, so here we are at the end of season one. Of course, not gonna look at every single season in this, but I will highlight some of the milestones. So Luca wins MVP, Wimby, of course, Rookie of the Year, Chris Paul, Sixth Man. All this is pretty standard. Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year, Paul Reed, Most Improved, Dame, Clutch Player. And in the first simulation, it's gonna be Bucks versus Lakers in the championship. Let's see who wins. All right, Bucks win over the Lakers in five now. It's time to get to some real simming. All right, we're here at the quarter mark and some trends have started to emerge. I'm not gonna give all the secrets away just yet, but I will show you who won this year and I'll give you a few insights as we go. So Jokic wins MVP here. That's not too surprising. This has actually been the most contentious award. Well, this and the new Clutch Award oh! have been the most contentious awards so far this year. One that has not been contentious is Rookie of the Year. Wimben Yama has yet to lose a single time. Perfect, Sixth Man of the Year, almost always a CP3. We'll get into the data later and I'll tell you about some other guys who have won, but mostly it's CP3. Also Defensive Player of the Year, almost always won by not Nicholas Claxton, usually won by Giannis. So good to see Claxton get a victory here. He has won a few as we've gone, but again, we'll get into that a little bit deeper later. In most improved land though, this is where you wanna bet all your money. Of course, like everybody and their mother is bet would be betting money that Wimby's gonna win Rookie of the Year, but what you may not be betting is that Paul Reed is gonna win most improved. However, he has won it, let me check, 23 out of the 25 times. And interestingly enough, the other two times this award has been given out has also been won by a Reed. I'll let you figure out who that is and over in clutch player of the year this is a new one Kyrie has yet to win this award but again it is all over the place I mean at a glance it looks like it has been won three times by several guys and so many guys have just won it once or twice but yeah that is where this award stands now let's see who wins the year 25 championship two pretty common teams Grizzlies versus Sixers so no big surprises here let's see who wins hopefully the Grizz can win one they do not the Sixers win they actually, because in this save, James Harden is playing and because Paul Reed is so good. He is him. They are doing very well in the save so far, but there have been quite a few surprises so far. I'm just looking down the list. Yeah, there's a couple of teams that I think might surprise you that either won or made the finals, but, but let's go ahead and zoom further. I'll see you at season 50. All right, welcome to season 50. We have simmed through quite a bit and I just wanted to give you some numbers. So we're gonna look through this and I'll update my list, but I did wanna let you know that I know at 25, I said that some of the awards were very uh, one-sided to put it mildly, but I did just wanna say that MVP, six different players have won it in 50 Sims. Now I know that's not like the best, but it does show that 2K is kind of not all over the place, but there are a lot of opportunities. But then the bigger thing to note is that 11 different teams have won championships. Now, of course there have been several teams that have made it to the finals have not won a title, but there's definitely not just one team that's just dominating. And, and even beyond that, I think a lot of people have like four to six teams that they think could realistically win a title this year, but 2K seems to think the NBA has a ton of parity this year. So we're going to keep going, but let's go ahead and see what happened this season. So of course, Jaw. Now I said, you know, six players have won. Jaw is a very popular one. Now this, if, if we get a different rookie, Ugh. okay, Wimby again. Now the, I'm CP3, yeah. 
Wimby CP3 are like basically guaranteed at this point. Nicholas Claxton, so not the person who's getting it the most, but does get it a lot. Again, Paul Reed winning a lot of this most improved. I don't really see it, but you know, who knows? Giannis winning Clutch Player of the Year. That's another award that's kind of been all over the place. The other thing that's been kind of all over the place, if I can get there, is this. I've been tracking who is winning the scoring title. So this year it's gonna be Ja, I think. Yeah, Ja does win. But you would be surprised. There have been some, I don't know, I wouldn't say they're surprising players to make it, but there have been a lot of different players. I, I say that in the last, seven of the last 10 have been Ja. But before that, I promise you, there was a lot of people, a lot of different people winning, as you'll see when we get to the end. All right, let us see the playoffs. Now, I did want to know, here in the middle, you may be wondering, Ricky, why are you controlling the Wizards? Here's the reason why. The Wizards almost never, ever make the playoffs. Now, a lot of teams, you know, you'll have a lot of surprise teams popping up, you know, like Milwaukee being all the way down here to the 90. They might have someone injured, I don't know. Charlotte, maybe would it be a surprise to make the play in, but that's not, I mean, not that big of a surprise. They're fine. Uh, honestly, one thing I've seen a lot is that the Nuggets make the play in, which is wild. Like even as the nine or 10 seed, the defending champs don't even make the normal tournament, but the Wizards have made it in 50 saves have made it twice. So you can just kind of skip through faster if you're playing as a bad team. And in this case, it's going to be the Lakers versus, oh, sorry. LeBron won best player of the Western Conference Finals, but he does not make it to the finals. Finals is going to be won by the Warriors. Warriors over 76ers is this save. Of course, we still have 50 more to go. We're only halfway finished, but we're starting to get a good picture of what 2K thinks of this 23-24 season. I will see you at save number 75 with another quick check-in. We're here at save 75. This is gonna be a quick one because we're almost here at the end, but I do wanna just update you on a couple of things before we get to the finish line. It has really become a three horse race for MVP. I'm looking at my stats over here and basically it's coming down to Ja, Luka, or Jokic. And then pretty much every other award, well, not every award, but most of the other awards are like one person just dominating. But where it does get really interesting is who actually wins the championship. So. So we'll look at it way more in depth later, but so far only one team has won double digit championships in 75 saves, which seems a bit wild, but it definitely speaks to the parity in the league and also like, you know, how often injuries happen. But I won't spoil that just yet. You're gonna have to wait about 30 seconds and then we'll have hundred saves done and we'll get into the nitty gritty details of what 2K24 thinks is going to happen in the 23-24 NBA season. We're here at save 100, and I thought it would be smart to start off with the rookie of the year because I have really great news for you if you're out in San Antonio, bad news for everyone else. This is Wimbenyama's year to win this thing. In 2K, he wins 98 out of the 100 times. The only two other players, I'll throw a graphic up here so you can see it as well and not just me read it out, but the only two players, Brandon Miller won it once and Scoot Henderson won it the other time, but every other time, Wimby is your rookie of the year. Now, six men of the year, also fairly one-sided. Obviously, Christian Wood won, obviously Christian Wood wins it here. However, he's only able to win it eight times. That is the second most, as you can see in the graphic, but Chris Paul wins it an overwhelming 85 times in 100 saves. Other players to win it, Amin Thompson, Talon Horton Tucker, Bobby Portis Jr. kind of out of nowhere, but still, but still he's able to pick one up. Defensive player of the year, another player who's won it this year who doesn't win it very often because this is won most often by Giannis who wins it 72 times. Now, Nicholas Claxton managed to get 20 three defensive player of the years. Evan Mobley, our man right here, he won it four times. And Mitchell Robinson, one single time. Another award that was very, very one-sided. Paul Reed, as usual, wins this. He won it 85 times. The other players to win are Nas Reed, THT, and Shin Goat. Okay, so this year was a little bit of a weird one because again, LeBron only wins this award twice. The Clutch Player of the Year, the new award in 2K and in the real life. This kind of became a two-person race between Trey Young and Luka. SGA also won it 10 times. Dame nine but you know this award is kind of all over the place there were 19 total winners so this one's very much up in the air still speaking of a little bit up in the air is the mvp as you can see 
see here, Jokic wins this. He was able to win it 20 times, but that was bested by Luka at 29 and Ja Moran at 33. Important to note, however, that Ja does not miss his 25 games in this save because the save I was using was from before the season, so he wasn't missing those games. I don't know if he'll win it in real life. I think it's going to be Luka, but it could happen. Other people that won it, Giannis won it five times, and then uh, SGA, LeBron, and Trey, Trey Young, all won it one time each. All right, moving on to the scoring leader. I went ahead and tracked this. I just thought it was going to be pretty interesting. See how it would correlate with MVP and Clutch Player of the Year. This one, again, is pretty close race between a few guys. There are, you know, Trey Young, Steph Curry won it 12 and 5 times, but then there's three guys above 20. Luka won it 22 times. SGA wins it 28 times as he did this season. And then Ja won it 33 times. So Ja, again, just like he did with MVP, 33 wins there, 33 wins here. Kind of correlates a little bit, but, you know, SGA did win this 28 times, only won one MVP. So <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't correlate perfectly, but still, I thought it was worth noting. And then, of course, as I said, this save 100 has to be the weird one, right? Because the Bulls have not really been a contender in this save. They did make the finals one time before this, but lost. But here they go. They beat the Lakers in five. Uh, running down a list of teams who have played quite a bit. So let's look at teams who have won 10 or more times. Warriors just miss it at nine wins in the 100 saves. The Grizzlies and the Bucks both win 10 times. The Heat? The Heat, do not doubt the Heat, they win it 12 times. The Lakers behind old man LeBron win it 13. And the Philadelphia 76ers, again, a caveat here, James Harden is playing. We don't know if he's going to stick with the team long term this actual season, but in this, they're able to win it 18 times. Now, if you want to talk the team that had maybe the most success, I believe, well, I think it's still the 76ers actually looking at it because the Warriors made it to the finals 22 times. The Heat made it 22 times. Of course, the Warriors post a losing record. They only won nine. They lost 13. But the 76ers were able to make it to the finals 27 times. That's more than that's more than a fourth of the time they made the finals. And they only won 18 of those 27, but still pretty solid numbers there. I mean, that's doubling their win rate. So pretty good numbers there. But yeah, a lot of teams in the finals a lot, of, a lot of surprising teams, actually. You know, the Knicks won a championship. <laughs> That's a surprise. The Pelicans, I think, would be a surprise to win three. Clippers winning three. Thunder winning four. They win the same as the Nuggets. Also, just to clock the Nuggets, they only make it to the finals eight times. They go four of four in their finals appearance. The Suns. The Suns. Let's talk about the Suns. They never a single time won an NBA finals. They only make it three times in this save. Another team that 2K, in my experience, really loves, but in this save, hated the Hawks only made it twice and they never won a single time. But anyways, that about sums it up. Uh, if you're a betting man, I would go out and bet on the, well, I don't know. Actually, I was going to say I would go about bet on the 76ers. However, I don't know if that's going to hold true because we don't know if James Harden's going to play the whole year. But if he does, I definitely think they're a team worth betting on. The thing that I would bet on, I know Ja wins the most MVPs, but he is going to be out for 25 games this year. So I would be putting my money on Luka for an outside shot bet. That's not really outside shot. He's been incredible so far this year. The real bet here, if you're if you're a 2K purist, if you really believe that 2K is a simulation of NBA basketball, Paul Reed is the man you have to bet on. 85 times this man with most improved player of the year. He is him. You cannot beat that. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Next week, we're going to get back to more long form, more regular videos. But this week, I started to do this experiment on my own, and I said, let's just turn it into content. So I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Thank you.